I have God's power to get wealth because I say it. To oh, each one is given to get your own. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth today. Holy Ghost, your God in the Holy earth Ghost today. is God in the earth today. When you walk with Him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thanks for joining us. Jesus if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. I've been criticized for putting too much emphasis on speaking God's word. Can you imagine that no. to that i say in the beginning genesis chapter one in the beginning god said so everything say everything everything, everything that you see your whole existence everything you can possibly know touch feel experience live in this life came out of god's spoken word in fact you came out of God's spoken word mm -hmm. so God spoke all these things into existence and then he spoke you into existence and put you into what his spoken word mm -hmm. say I, I was put into, was put into God's, spoken word. God's spoken word and he was a God that spoke things he made you in his image which means you haven't begun listen if you can hear it you have not even begun until you begin speaking things you haven't even begun yet Amen. until you've learned to begin speaking things and where are you going to speak these things in the earth that you were put into mm -hmm. are you here yes you put too much emphasis on speaking God's word that's what you are that's where you're at mm -hmm. say that's what I am that's where I'm at and if you can learn to speak accurately right. in the context of what God has said in the framework of that you've been placed in you will have greater and greater success so God began this whole thing by saying then he created you and you begin by saying and if you haven't begun saying you haven't even begun yet does this make sense yeah. well again I've been criticized I have believed that in speaking God's Word is the thing said that's what I believe that's why I'm here that's what I that's why I put so much emphasis on speaking God's Word is because I believe that in the spoken Word of God is the thing said yeah. Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 18 but thou shalt remember the Lord thy God for it is he the Lord thy God that gives thee it is he that gives the power to get wealth is this in your Bible yes, it is. I have believed that in speaking this verse of Scripture is that thing said mm -hmm. and in this case it would be what yeah. power to get wealth yeah. right mm -hmm. God gives me power to get wealth the number one reason to not be covetous of anyone is because he gives it to me why would I be covetous of your stuff God is giving me power to get wealth right exactly. first Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 7 says but the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all mm -hmm. now God gives me power to get wealth the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man 
which means he gives you power to get wealth say God gives me, God gives me power, to get wealth. power to get wealth so each one is given get your own God's giving me power to get wealth get your own mm -hmm. say get your own, get your own. Don't be covetous of me get your own that's why you don't have to be covetous because you can get your own all right but I I have believed say I have believed I have believed and you got to go get your own mm -hmm. I have believed that in the speaking of God's Word this Word of God that we just read it is God that gives me power to get wealth I have believed that in speaking God's Word it is God that gives me power to get wealth you see how I spoke that word it is God who gives me power to get wealth say it is God, it is God who gives me, who gives me power, to power to get wealth I believe that in speaking that word of God is is the thing said and what would that be power to get wealth God's power to get wealth if you say it you will believe it I've been saying it and I believe it and you don't like it you'd like to criticize that I put too much emphasis on saying God's Word well I I do I put a, a huge emphasis on it because I believe it mm -hmm. my belief makes your criticism very small mm -hmm. it's a minor annoyance mm -hmm. it's insignificant because I have believed I've entered into belief mm -hmm. in the thing that I've said say I enter into belief, I enter into belief in the thing that I said the, thing that I said. the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words he made this world out of words so if the Holy Ghost was sent down and he's with us here today and he is are you here yeah where is he he's in this world that's made out of words mm -hmm. how are you gonna walk with him it has to be it has to be, it has to be. It has to be by speaking in agreement with his word because that's the world you are in are you getting this yeah. too much emphasis mm, well if you say it you will believe it if you say it like I do you will believe it like I do and I'm sorry but I have come to believe it second mm -hmm. Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 17 now the Lord is that spirit when is now? Right, now right now the Lord is that spirit that spirit who Holy the Holy Ghost and where the Spirit of the Lord is there say there there, there is Liberty so this is a place we're talking about a place where the Spirit is Lord mm -hmm. a place there that is Liberty well in this room listen in this room worshiping the Holy Ghost as God I worship you Holy Ghost you enter into there mm -hmm. a place of Liberty that you didn't have before because you weren't worshiping him before but in this room you become something else you were limited before even in your belief but in this room you become unlimited now that's a strange word for regular people to get their mind wrapped around because everyone feels like they're limited but in this room you become unlimited because you are being changed let's read on here verse 18 but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the Spirit Lord 
so you in this room you're beholding him and you are changed from glory to glory into the same image he is is he limited no he's unlimited so in this room you become unlimited in this room worshiping him you see him but your image of him changes and as that image changes so do you am i making this up nope. beholding him the holy ghost changes you beholding his glory changes you it changes you from your old limits into a new man with no limits mm -hmm. say I'm changed, I'm changed into a new man, a new man. With, no with no limits in this room beholding him worshiping him are you here because we're changed from one glory to another glory whose glory his glory, his glory. And it's only when we see it can we be changed into it you change to get wealth mm -hmm. now just imagine even just in the natural if you could change there would be no limit to the wealth you could have it's all about you changing doesn't this make sense yep. mm -hmm. let the speaking of his word change you let the speaking of his word change the image of him Amen. and then let the speaking of his word change the image of you into the thing said and you have to let it you have to speak his word enough to let it begin to change you it is god who gives me power to get wealth it is god who gives me power to get wealth every time I say it a little change happens every time I say it I see a little bit more of the glory that is his in there and I'm letting it that I see change me into what God giving me power to get wealth that word spoken is that word spoken limited because it's God's Word God's Word spoken is unlimited God's Word spoken is perfect that's where you're going that's what you're letting his word spoken change you into well I don't believe it I know you don't you haven't said it enough you have to believe it as you say it and the saying it is involved in the believing it Remember how we started this being criticized for putting too much emphasis on saying let the speaking of his word change you not into something weird but into the thing said and I realize I, I chose this verse of scripture this God gives me power to get wealth Deuteronomy 8 18 but it could be it could have been another verse of scripture maybe a youth renewal scripture or a healing scripture you understand let the speaking of it change you into the thing said which is unlimited unlimited youth renewal unlimited healing unlimited prosperity because the word spoken has no limits and the word spoken is perfect let me say this all the powers of the world to come are glorious we go from glory to glory to glory they went on to glory you ever heard that mm -hmm. where'd they go <laughs> to glory right. Yeah. right we go from glory to glory let us go on unto perfection wouldn't glory be perfection mm -hmm. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 1 therefore leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ let us go on unto perfection let us 
go on mm -hmm. I can't speak for everyone else but let us go on John chapter 4 verse 24 says God is a spirit and they that worship him let us go on those who worship God the Spirit the Holy Ghost let us go on they that worship him that's us say that's us, that's us. let us go on unto what look let us go on unto perfection which would be obviously glory right your way will never get you there this way will worshiping the Holy Ghost speaking in agreement with his word going from one glory to the next some powers are transferable they go from one to the next worship of the Holy Ghost is transferable it is a power of the world to come speaking his word is transferable it goes over it is a power of the world to come the glory that's in worshiping the Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost and speaking his word will bring that glory to you and I'm talking about wealth oh my goodness how could you be talking about wealth because I believe in saying God's word Amen. and I've been saying it and I believe it are you here yeah. Haggai chapter 2 verse 7 and I will shake all nations and the desire of all nation nations shall come say shall come, shall come. and I will fill this house with what potatoes no I will fill this house with glory saith the Lord of Spirits a well, Lord of hosts but Lord of Spirits those are the hosts yeah. look at this verse 8 the silver is mine the gold is mine saith the Lord of Spirits the glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former Amen. and in this place again we're talking about a place in this place will I give peace or prosperity other translations say it saith the Lord of spirits now here it says he's gonna fill the house with glory and then verse 8 says the silver is mine the gold is mine mm -hmm. who's saying this the Holy Ghost is saying the silver is his and the gold is his where is he he's here in the earth where's the silver and the gold yeah. outer space but he's talking about here on earth the silver is his the gold is his say the silver is his the, silver is the, gold, his. Is his. the gold is his now if you say that and you believe that you're saying and believing something that a lot of people aren't to glory they can't handle mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they will criticize you for this welcome to my world the silver is mine saith the Lord of Spirits how do you see him do you see the Holy Ghost as very wealthy because if you have all the silver and all the gold that well that's pretty much it right mm -hmm. wealthiest being on earth how do you see him I'm telling you most people don't see him that way because they've never put these two together and they've never said it how you see him is your barometer as to what glory you can be changed into we read that right by beholding him we're changed from one glory to another glory even as by the Spirit Lord beholding his glory what's his glory him with all the silver and all the gold him Holy Ghost all silver all gold Holy Ghost really rich yeah. say Holy Ghost, Holy Holy Ghost. Really, rich. really rich you're beholding him and being changed into his glory God gives me 
power to get wealth and then he goes on to say the glory of this latter house shall be lesser no greater than the former and in this place will I give what place will he give you that worship him they that worship him to each one is given by the Spirit get your own strictly speaking this evening about worshiping the Holy Ghost as God and specifically speaking about Deuteronomy 8 18 it is God who gives me power to get well in this place will I give are you getting it mm -hmm. now the former house was what house Solomon's house did Solomon have some wealth in his house he did. 25 tons say 25 tons. 25 tons that's the amount of gold that came to Solomon in a year he counted it in weight 25 tons first Kings chapter 10 verse 14 now the weight of gold that came to Solomon in one year six hundred three score and six talents of gold and then they have you know I have over in my margin 25 tons of gold but my point is it came to him it didn't say he ran out looking for it it came to him the glory of God was in that place and it came to him say it comes to me it comes to me well I have believed that in speaking God's Word it is God who gives me power to get wealth that God's power to get wealth comes to me do you think Solomon had God's power to get wealth mm -hmm. how did it work it came to him I have God's power to get wealth because I say it and that power comes to me the wealth comes to me to each one is given get your own mm -hmm. Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 1 therefore leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ let us go on unto perfection let us listen let us you and me go on unto the next level of glory and perfection let us go on to perfection I'm never going back I've seen too much I've tasted too much to ever even want to go back in fact I can't you read any of this here it says it's impossible for those who have gone here to go back mm. it's impossible that's why you know some people that go back and I've seen many of them just turn around and go back mm. go back to the old way that doesn't work they would criticize you of putting too much emphasis on speaking God's Word you can't possibly put too much emphasis mm -mm. on speaking God's Word speaking in agreement with the living God the Holy Ghost and going from one glory to the next glory to perfect Holy Ghost we worship you and we thank you that you have blessed every one of us we know you and how to walk with you today in the earth and we thank you that all good things are working and coming together for us even right now we give you all the glory and praise in Jesus name amen. amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost I worship you God, you, are you are causing all things to begin moving in my, in my direction the silver is yours the gold is yours and I am yours and therefore I walk in all of it in the earth 
in Jesus name amen Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God